Do you think there will be angel activity in the end time? Oh, absolutely. Jesus promised that. As the days of Noah were, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Yeah. Yet to answer that, you have to understand what the days of Noah were. You have to go back to Noah, Noah then. <laughs> there, are, there is, even today, warfare in the metacosm. Now, that requires some background to understand what I mean by the metacosm. But the point is, uh, that's a region of the angels. That's the region of the UFOs. It's a, it's a region outside the constraints of our... We live in a digital uh, simulated reality. What we call physical reality has limits, both in, the, in terms of largeness. The great discovery of 20th century science is that the universe is not infinite. It's finite. That has huge implications, and that's what led to the, the fact that it had a beginning, and that's what leads to the speculation called the Big Bang and so on. Mm. If you go in the other direction, not largeness, but smallness, we discover there's a limit to smallness. And what that really means is there's a limit to how small you can divide something. Mm -hmm. Whether you're talking about length, mass, energy, or time, they have limits called the Planck limit. And uh, so the point is, it's a shock to realize there's a limit to smallness. So between smallness and largeness, it's confined to a limit. We live in a digital virtual simulation. And that takes some background. Yeah. It's hard to hit just for a few sound right. Sure. But the point is, the region that it's sitting within, for lack of a better term, we call the metacosm. And uh, there's warfare going on even today in the metacosm. How do we know? Because in Daniel chapter 10 is one, e there's several, but that's the main example of that being described. If you really study mm -hmm. Daniel 10, 11, and 12 carefully, uh, the, the, uh, the, 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 the being there explains to Daniel that he's there. He had took him three weeks to get through to reach Daniel because of the warfare going on. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be more he goes on to talk about. Mm -hmm. There's a great study to do that. But the point is it comes from the Word of God, so we can rely on it. <laughs> there is warfare in the metacosm today and that's going to yes. be our main theme next year as we start pulling our stuff together to talk about what we call cosmic wars. The warfare has already started, and we can expect it to increase. Try to understand what's going on, that's basic background. So We've got to settle this thing with yeah. demons and angels. Yeah. There, I think there's more angels according to my study of the Bible, but I, I'm, I'm sitting with you, and I kind of worry because I don't, I don't know much. Well, but... but I, I could give you some anecdotes of interactions with them recently. Don't, yes, I want yeah, to. Yeah, I like, yes. Uh, that, but there, there's, yes, there's, yes. there's a lot of angels, isn't there? Yes, there are. More than demons. Cause oh, I don't yeah. Oh, yeah. In fact, in fact, that's Satan's problem. He's <laughs> got a two-to-one deficiency. Yes. And that, oh. apparently, that leads to some of the speculations about he's repairing that. But the point is, <laughs> uh, no, there, there is, uh, yes, they're real. Mm -hmm. And yes, there is, uh, is an encroaching darkness coming upon us. We need to understand that. We need to understand there are probably one of our key resources. Uh, the concept of guardian angels, I used to think that was just a nice euphemism. Mm -hmm. No, Matthew 18 <laughs> confirms that they're real, that our children have assigned to them, strangely enough. Yeah. And uh, so, no, they're real, and they're, and they're resourceful, and they're powerful. 